Sometimes when you're working in Moodle, you might want to share audio files with your students. A great example of this would be if you wanted to record a lecture and then post that into your Moodle course site. I think the easiest way to do this is to use an audio program like Audacity on your computer. All you need is a computer with a built-in or external microphone and then you can download Audacity for free from audacity.sourceforge.net. Here you can find versions for either Apple computers or for Windows computers. To record your lecture, all you would need to do would be to open up Audacity and click on the record button. This is going to start your recording and then you can press the stop button. And you see that here we have our recorded narration there. When you're ready to save this, all you need to do is go to File and choose Export as MP3. MP3 is one of the most standard formats for audio files and it's one that really works well with Moodle. When I choose Export as MP3, I can now save this file as whatever I want it to. I'm going to save it here as just a test file. This is going to start your recording and then you can press the stop button. Looks like it actually started playing my file too. Now that my file is saved in Audacity, I can go into Moodle. Here in Moodle, I'm going to turn my editing on and then I'm going to choose Add a Resource and I'll choose Link to a File or Website. This is going to bring up my Adding a New Resource. I'm going to type in Sample Audio File for the name. I don't need to put anything for the summary but if I wanted to, I could put a short description there. Then, in the link to a file or website section, I'm going to click on choose or upload a file. This is going to bring up a new pop-up window here, and I'll need to click on upload a file since I haven't put this into my Moodle course site yet. When I click on browse, it will let me look through my hard drive, and I'm on my desktop here, and there's my test file and I'll go ahead and click open and then I'll click on upload this file. Sure enough the file has been uploaded successfully and all I have to do now is click on choose next to the file's name. You'll see that now I have testfile.mp3 show up in the location field. Then I can choose what it's going to do in the window. I can have it show in the same window or I could have it show in a new window. I'll keep it as the same window. And then I'll just scroll down and click Save and Return to Course. You'll see here that my sample audio file has shown up in a resource in the box that I had put it in. And now I'm going to switch my role to a student so you'll see what the student will see and here they would see a sample audio file they would click on that and it shows up as a little player in there and they can click on play this is going to start your recording and then you can press the stop button and you see that they could have paused that they could have fast forwarded that to a different section and then you can and they can even control the volume and they can pan from a left to a right channel if they need to. So it should be very easy for your students to listen to any audio files that you've placed in your Moodle course.